Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com and today I'm going to be reviewing Rosetta Stone German. I'm going to break down how the Rosetta Stone program works, what I like and don't like about this German app, and whether I think it's effective. And just as a heads up, because I'll just be covering the major highlights in this video and trying to keep things short, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review of Rosetta Stone over on our website. The easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Rosetta Stone German Review. That's a quick way to find it. Okay, so most people know the Rosetta Stone name, but don't really know how the program actually works. So that's where I want to start, how the course is structured and what the lessons look like. And let's start with how it's organized. In looking at it from a high level, there are just 20 learning units in the entire German program, and each unit is made up of just four lessons. So just 80 total lessons in the program. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but each lesson is pretty comprehensive. They all progressively build on each other and take some time to finish. In terms of how they break down, each lesson is built around a core learning exercise that takes a half hour or so to complete, then a number of supplemental drills behind that core lesson. Sometimes it's just three supplemental drills and sometimes it's almost a dozen. It just totally depends. So in total, you're looking at around a full hour to complete a lesson, sometimes more if it's one of those monster lessons with a dozen supplemental drills and sometimes less. But one nice change that Rosetta Stone has made is breaking the core lessons down into three 10 minute chunks, about the same length as each of the supplemental drills. This way you don't have to do an entire 30 minute core lesson in one sitting and the lessons, rather than feeling like a massive task, are much more bite sized, kind of like a babble or even Duolingo lesson. But as for what the actual lessons are like, the thing you need to know about Rosetta Stone is that the German program is very image heavy. Almost every single exercise uses images in some way or another. Sometimes the program will say something in German and you match what was said to the right picture. Sometimes it's matching written German phrases to the images. Sometimes it's on you to speak in German what's in the image and get graded by the speech software. Sometimes the pictures are used to teach grammar. Basically, no matter what the exercise is, Rosetta Stone primarily uses a combination of pictures and immersion to teach you German. The program is clearly built to have you create connections between what you're learning and imagery. In this way, their framework cuts out English as a go-between when learning German and forces you to rely more on your intuition rather than memorization. And like most other language apps these days, Rosetta Stone will start you with basic one and two word building blocks and then progress to longer, more grammatically complex sentences as you reach the more advanced units. That's pretty standard. But one thing that isn't typical for apps is that in order to reach those higher levels, you do need to score at least 85% in each lesson to move on, so you can't just cheat your way through. I thought that was kind of interesting. And that's more or less how the Rosetta Stone program works. Around the core lesson work, Rosetta does give you a bunch of bonus tools and resources like stories, phrase books, on-demand video lessons, audio companion lessons, and even some live lessons. But for your daily exercises, that's how it works. And by the way, again, I know I'm kind of flying through this, so if you do want to see some examples of the Rosetta Stone drills and lessons, make sure to check out that full written review that I mentioned earlier. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have screenshots and more detail over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Okay, so now before I dive into what I like and don't like specifically about Rosetta Stone's German course, let's quickly talk about price and how they compare to other apps. So Rosetta Stone has three different plans to choose from. There's a three month subscription plan, that's $12 per month. There's a 12 month plan that also goes for $12 per month. And there's a lifetime plan, which is a one time purchase and gets you access for life to all of Rosetta Stone's languages for $300. And if you think that's weird why the 12 month plan costs the same as the three month plan, it's because Rosetta Stone is almost always running a discount on that package and you can almost always find it for $8 per month. And similarly, the lifetime package, even though it retails for $300, you can almost always find a discount on that to bring it down to $180 total. Now, comparing this to other German apps, Rosetta Stone is sort of in the middle of the pack in terms of cost. It's more expensive than other German apps like Duolingo and Babbel, but also cheaper than other programs like Pimsleur and Rocket German. Overall, I'd say their prices are pretty reasonable and fair, especially if you can catch one of those sale prices. Again, on that point, Rosetta Stone is pretty aggressive with their deals and special promos, and you can almost always find a discount on their German course, so do make sure to check for deals and coupons. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description below updated with the most current discount codes and deals that I can find floating around out there. So make sure to check out that text below the video screen and give it a good look before buying. I frequently see Rosetta Stone discounted by 40% or more. Okay, so now that we've talked about pricing and how Rosetta German works, let's get into what I like and don't like about it. And let's start with the pros. So the first major positive of the Rosetta Stone program is all of the images and pictures. If you're a visual learner, which is about half of the population, this app is gonna align very well with your learning style. 
For a lot of people, they need to see what they're learning in order to retain it. For this group of people, audio lessons just won't cut it. And that's where Rosetta Stone has a leg up on audio only programs in my opinion. Because just about every single drill in the program leverages imagery in one way or another, it's gonna be very effective for those types of visual learners. Then, another aspect of the Rosetta Stone program that I don't think everyone will necessarily like, but I do think works, is its use of immersion. Basically, once you're in the program, there is hardly any use of English. They don't directly give you English directions for drills, and by default, phrases and sentences are not translated for you. You can actually toggle on translations within the program to see the English meanings, but this is generally discouraged by Rosetta Stone. Basically, they want you learning intuitively. Rosetta wants you to be immersed in German for the period of time that you're working on your lesson. In this way, you cut out English as a go-between and learn the more direct, raw meaning of words and phrases. In all honesty, this can be a little frustrating at times because you will get hung up and stuck, but if you don't mind struggling at certain points, it can be really effective. And the last big positive for Rosetta Stone in my eyes are all of the cool bonus resources that they provide. With all of the extras that they give you, it just feels like the most complete and comprehensive program on the market. I mean, other apps do give you bonus tools, but not to the same level. Again, there's phrase books, short on demand video lessons, stories, audio companion lessons, and even live classes. It's just a really well-rounded bundle of tools that they give you outside of the core lesson work. And if you're serious about dedicating some significant time to learning German, or you're under the gun to learn the language in just a few months, then Rosetta Stone is one of the best for loading on the resources. Okay, so that's what I like about Rosetta Stone. Now let's get into the negatives. But before I get to that, I should just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning subscription to one lucky person. It's super simple dinner. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a free lifetime pass to Rosetta Stone German. Okay, so the first negative of the Rosetta Stone program as I see it is the lack of direct grammar instruction. Basically, Rosetta Stone teaches grammar the same way they teach everything else in the program, organically and through intuition. Rosetta Stone doesn't just present you with a lesson about how to use modal verbs or how to talk in the past tense. Instead, they teach you these things more indirectly through the picture-based drills that I mentioned earlier. And while there is some merit to doing things this way, I personally prefer more direct instruction when it comes to grammar. I'd rather just have things explained to me in plain English up front about sentence structures and verb conjugations, and then practice with speaking exercises rather than trying to discover it for myself. I just think doing it that way can get frustrating at times. Then my second negative for Rosetta Stone is that the drills can become a little monotonous at times. Because every exercise includes images, they're all somewhat derivative of each other. I mean, it's not nearly as bad as I've seen with some other apps like Mango or Lingo Deer, but with Rosetta Stone, sometimes it does feel a little repetitive. Their lessons just don't have the variety you'd get with a Babbel or Duolingo. And the final drawback that I wanna call out is that I actually think Rosetta Stone could benefit from creating more of a community among its users. One of the reasons that Duolingo has become so wildly popular is that they've done a great job of building a competitive and collaborative environment among its user base. Users compete in leagues, connect socially, do friend quests, and generally learn together. If Rosetta Stone just incorporated a little bit of this element or even just some kind of family account, I think this would go a long ways towards upping user engagement. But anyway, that about does it for the details, so it's time for my final verdict. Is Rosetta Stone a good app to learn German? In my opinion, yes, if you're a visual learner. If you're more of an auditory learner and you're looking for some more traditional audio-based lessons, then Rosetta Stone might not be the best fit. They do have stories and audio companion lessons, but that's definitely not the main focus of this course. Rosetta Stone is much more geared towards visual learners and teaches through an immersive, organic learning framework. But on the whole, I do like Rosetta Stone and think it is effective for learning German, especially if you're more of a visual learner and looking for a more active, hands-on program. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this review video has been helpful and you learned a little something about Rosetta Stone. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping me a comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written review of Rosetta Stone German that I talked about earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos we have on our YouTube channel. We got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.